Hey guys, it's Bass Tracker Bassin here, and I'm going to give you a tour of my fishing room. So, let's get started. And, um, I just walk you around it, and I try to be as steady as I can. I'm not known for being the steadiest cameraman, but I try my darndest to be, um, so first off you see, coming into the room, my, um, rod holder custom built rod holder holds nine rods I think I'm pretty sure that's it um and I don't have that many good combos so I only have four good combos so I just use the rest for extra rods and stuff but um down in the bottom here I have um some bait some plastic uh, swim baits right here for my Alabama rig which I really don't like that much but I got plenty of them, and um, I got some miscellaneous, uh, just all kind of stuff in there, plastics. Um, and here's my um, plastics holder right here. Um, it's, it's very simple. Um, it's not professional or anything, but uh, did it real quick. It uh, all it is is a, like a one by four um, piece of wood or one by six. And I just drove some nails through it. I mean, just very simple. Pretty long nails, though, and pretty thick. But, um, I just filed off the end so that they're not sharp. And you won't cut yourself. And I just drove them in. Just very simple. And can hold all my plastics. As you can see, I'm a big fan of net bait. Um, they manufacture the baits in my hometown in Greenville, Alabama. So, and we're real good friends with the owners, so, um, I just, I just got a bunch of stuff. See, I go over it real quick. Um, my favorite, usually my favorite, my baby pack crawls, watermelon red. Got a bunch of different colors in there. Um, baby action cats. i just become a pretty big fan of these, um, lately. One of my ponds that I fish, new ponds, um, they really like them. Um, I got some tubes here white and um, black and blue then I got some um, little net bait jerk baits right there different colors and um, my lizards got like four or five packs of lizards different colors um, got a salt lick uh, then some pack crawls black and blue and two packs of them then I got my C Mac and T Mac right here I got like eight or ten different packs of them. Um, then I'm moving over to my workbench. Um, See, so yeah, I got a couple stickers up there. I uh, don't have them. They're just uh, held up by this right here. Um, not onto the wall, but does a purpose. Um, right here I got some pliers and uh, fingernail clippers for changing out lures and all. Um, Suggest everybody to get you a bowl or a Ziploc bag and put your old plastics in there. Um, and then you can get them, somebody to mail them down. And I'll probably get um, Mr. Braxton, the owner of um, Netbait, to uh, melt them down into like a baby pack crawl or something like that. When I get a big bag of them. Um, then I got some hooks and all, old hooks, spinner bait, stuff like that. Whenever I get down low, I um, go into that and... Uh, pick out all the good stuff and all and put it back in my tackle box. Um, some Ziploc bags, quartz for uh, plastics, putting in plastic. Um, some um, hook bonnets, some treble hooks, uh, some old, um, some, some of my extra crankbaits I don't use as much. But um, keep a towel in here. Uh, there's a bunch of random stuff up there. It's um, now I go into my drawers, and here we have, um, see I have some extra, uh, 8 ounce warm hooks, warm weights, um, bullets, uh, then I got some extra hooks in there, uh, all my receipts in case I need to take, um, stuff back, dug it, warranty, which I hope I never have to use, and some bags. And down here I keep um, my real stuff. Uh, got the Fluger. I don't know where I put my other two Fluger um, pack 
boxes, but somewhere. Uh, and I have this new Le Le Lose Speed Spool. Sorry about that. Um, just got it probably a month ago. I haven't done an update on it, but uh, I'll go ahead and show you that. Got then I got some oil and grease in there. Um, then all my line, my line cabinet, uh, tri lane. I like, I really like the um, tri lane um, extra smooth 12 pound casting monofilament. Uh, it cast really good and held up pretty great too. Um, pretty abrasive resistance. Got some new cigar fluorocarbon, 15 pound. Feels like some pretty good line. Um, then I got a quarter pound of 15 pound Berkeley tri lane uh, monofilament. Um, I'm really cheap for um, my top water and all, and my 12 pound I put on some other s smaller stuff like crankbaits or something like that. Um, right here, I'm not going to really open it, but you might can tell what that is. It's my trash drawer, and it is full. I need to um, empty it. And down here, I can't really open it far because of this, but um, back in there, there you go, you might see that. Um, I got some extra um, tackle boxes, uh, 3600 or 3700 playing on tackle boxes and some other stuff. And um, some other plastics that I don't really use and I'll probably put them and take them to Mr. Braxton and get them melted down. Um, then I have my, then some bags over here uh, if I need to loop around the stuff. And uh, I got my little uh, a rig, um, very ingenious, Mr. Gene Jensen from Fluke Master or Fluke MSTR, I believe. Um, he sells them. Um, I just made this one, but I know a lot of y'all probably don't have tools, so uh, he sells them for like 10 bucks, uh, really cheap, and uh, gets two of them. But it looks a lot better than this. I just got a PVC pipe. Go check him out and uh, go buy you one. But um, that's basically it. Um, pretty basic, not too big of a room. Um, actually, it's only like a quarter of the room. I have some old my hummingbird stuff right there. But uh, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And um, I'm gonna talk about what's about to happen in the next week or so. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but, um, next, um, let's, Saturday morning, we're going up to Kentucky, um, Kentucky Lake to go, uh, fishing, um, for the whole week. It's my spring break. So, um, we'll be, uh, going out pretty much every day. Um, hopefully we can, if the weather permits. Um, but I'm going out with the number one guide for on that on Kentucky Lake for two days, um, Sunday and Monday. Excuse me. But um, we're gonna fish with him, and I get some videos of it. I probably won't take the tripod with me, so it won't be the best video. But um, it'll just be like updates. But every time we catch a fish, maybe or the bigger fish, we're we'll, um video it. But um, then through like. Tuesday to Friday, I think. Um, I'll probably take a tripod with me and do a lot more in-depth videos because so, um, the boat won't be as cluttered. But um, that's good. And um, there's one more. Well, I got a new in a new pond lease um, for a whole year, and um, I got ten like ten fish. We caught ten fish. Um, one time we went. The other time I took my video camera, but we caught. Like ten more, but they're all dinks. Um, if you don't, if you want me to do a video on them, just comment below um, and tell me if you want a video. I mean, it's nothing but dinks, half pounders, and below. So, if you want them, you want the video, I'll put it up. But um, if you don't, you won't hurt my feelings. Um, and uh, it's not the best video. I got my sister doing it, um, and it's pretty slow. She's she's extremely slow with the camera, but um. Oh well, and um, then I'll show you my loose speed spool that I got. Update. Um, got it on my Ducket 6.9, medium heavy. Um, uh, you see right there. I uh, I really like it. Uh, I might put it on my crankbait rod though. I mean on a crankbait 
four crank bait, take it off my six nine, cause you can really chunk a bait, but um, I don't know, I like it pretty good, uh, and uh, it serves its purpose. Um, and the bait caster is extremely small. I mean, smaller than me these flugers by long shot. Um, still weighs eight ounce, eight ounces, I believe though. So, and the paddle arm um, handles aren't that big. You, you, they look huge, but they're really not that big at all. I mean, my thumb fits over it, and they, I like it really good. Um, like it really well. But um, so next time I see you will probably be in a week and a half. I try to upload a video like every other night. Um, take my laptop up there. If I got some extra time, I go uh, edit them and um, do it for you. But um, that's about it, so uh, thanks guys, and we'll see you later.